You know, summer officially ends with Labor Day, and for kids across the country, that means it is back to school time. So how can parents get this scoop, the inside scoop, on what's really happening before, during, and after classes? Let's bring in Erica Katz now. She's a parenting expert and contributor to Parents Magazine. So hi, first of all, Erica. You know, parents want to know what's going on, but kids clam up a lot. But what you've done is come up with some suggested questions to get it out of them. So I'm going to go down some of your questions and you'll tell me what the possible answers could be. So you say what question to your kid is what was the best thing that happened at school today and what was the worst thing that happened at school today? Well, this is a great question because one day I asked my son, what was the worst thing that happened at school today? He said, Mom, you sent me egg salad for lunch. That was the worst thing that happened. So I learned, okay, I have to send him a better lunch. Mm -hmm. And then one day I asked my daughter what was the best thing, and she said, you picking me up after school and taking me for a snack. So I learned that this was something really special to her. So it's just a great question, and hopefully they don't say nothing. Right. I, I think that's the idea here. Okay, here's another question you suggest asking is, if an alien spaceship came to your class and beamed someone up, who would you want them to take? This question gets such a funny response. You would think it would be some kid they don't like, but sometimes it's a teacher, sometimes it's the gym teacher, and when you ask this question, I find they give the craziest answers. So I love this question, and they really have to think about it and then answer it. And it gives insight. It does. Yeah, for sure. Okay, here's another question. It says, is there anyone in your class who needs a time out? I love this question because you want to find out who's that child in the class that maybe is making some trouble as the class clown because of course your children are never going to want to be just like the kid who's sitting there silent and studying. They always want to be like the kid who's getting all the attention. So it's good to know who that kid is and you might want to monitor it a little. Definitely, definitely. That could work both ways. Yes. <laughs> Too cool for school kid who's doing nothing or it could be a possible bully. All right, so if, here's another question. If I called your teacher tonight, what would she tell me about you? I asked my daughter this question and she said she would say that I'm the best student in the class and then she gave me a little smirk. So it's such a funny question. They have great answers to it. And I also suggest to parents, especially if your kids are young, write down what they say because those moments are precious and you'll find out a lot about them. Oh, so it's good for the scrapbooking, it good is. for memories, Absolutely. and good insight into what they're thinking and feeling. Erica Katz, good stuff. We'll see you later. Thank okay. you.